Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're gonna make a gear spin in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Adding motion is a cool effect that you can use in your whiteboard videos to grab your audience's attention and add visual interest. And the best part? It's really easy to do in Doodly. Today, I thought I would illustrate this by using a gear and making it spin. This particular gear is an enterprise asset. It's the Steampunk Parts Number no. 4 gear. And if you do not have Doodly Enterprise, then you may need to import your own gear, which you can find little illustrations of gears pretty much anywhere. And I'm gonna show you how to make your own anyway. Once you've added the gear, it's time to make it spin. To do this, we're gonna do some stop motion animation, which is a technique where a series of individual frames or photos are captured, with each frame featuring a slightly different pose or position of the subject that's being animated. When the frames are played in sequence at a high enough speed, it creates the illusion of motion. So in the case of Doodly, we are going to do the same sort of thing by creating a bunch of different scenes that are just slightly different. And you'll see here, that I've done that. So I have a series of very short scenes and the only difference in the scene is the position of the gear. And if we were to go ahead and preview that, you'll see the effect. So here we go. And really that's all there is to it. Okay, so I have deleted all of that other stuff and we're gonna make this gear spin. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So the first thing that I wanna do is go over here to scene settings and make sure that exit animation is set to none and extra time at the end is to 0.5 seconds. That's the shortest we can go. And once we've done that, right click, hit duplicate, okay? So now we're on the second scene. So go to your little gear, make sure its duration is now zero and the any other element should be zero as well because we don't want the hand redrawing this stuff, okay? So now you'll see it's a very short scene. And right now nothing's changed except for the duration of the scene, right? So click your little gear and let's just move it just a little bit like so. That's our first bit of animation. So we go to this same scene, right click, duplicate. Okay, so now we have an identical scene. The duration is already set to zero, so we don't need to worry about that. All we need to do now is select the gear and advance it just a little bit, okay? And then repeat. So right click, duplicate, click the gear, click this little rotation tool and advance it. Right click, duplicate, click, rotate to advance. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so obviously that's pretty short. You would probably want to continue this out a little bit longer if you need to. Now the downside of this, aside from, you know, there's quite a few steps involved, is that the gear will only continue spinning as long as we keep adding more instances of it. So this effect is really only helpful when it's the last element of the scene. For example, if I were to go ahead and want to add a title here, well, the gear would need to stop while I add a title. So it's gonna be spin, 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 then I have a title come in and it stops, and then maybe I do something else and then spin, spin, spin. So it's not a persistent spin. On the other hand, if you had an animated GIF file, or GIF if you prefer, of a spinning gear, that's a great alternative. That way the gear would just continuously spin, it would just keep repeating over and over, regardless of whatever else you need to do. So that is what I want to show you now. So we need to create a gear and make it an animated GIF file. How are we gonna do that? Worry not, it's not difficult. You will need a couple tools. You'll need a vector program so you could create the image yourself. 
I'm going to use Pix, which is part of the Voomly family, and show you how to do that. And then we'll use a free GIF maker that we'll find online, okay? So first things first, let's go into Pix. If you're a Voomly Cloud subscriber, you do have Pix. If not, there are tons of free programs out there that you can use. Or if you have Photoshop or Illustrator or one of those, you could do it in that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click New, Custom Image, and I think I will go with the square. And this is fine. I've got a blank canvas now. So we just go to our handy dandy shape tool and I'm going to select the circle shape and I'm just going to make a big giant circle and I want to center it. Okay. So make sure you get those crossbars color. I want a white circle and I do like the black outline. I think I'm going to make it a fatter black outline. And because I did that, let's just make sure I am still centered here. So that's the basics of my gear, but I need the spokes now. So again, you're going to go to shape I'm going to click square. We're going to draw a square real quick. And right now I want to make sure that the fill is black as well. Okay probably won't actually come into play because it's going to be small enough, but I just want to make sure. Okay. And then we size it and it's hard to find the little rotate tool right here. It's hard to see it because of this little white dot over the transparency. If I move it down here, you'll see it. Okay. So there's a little white dot here and that is your rotate tool. Okay. So we're going to want to rotate and place it. And then once you like it, just go ahead and copy and paste. So command or control C to copy, command or control V to paste. And we're just going to add the little cogs to our gear. Okay, so that's good enough for now. I think that's a perfectly fine gear. So what we want to do is export it. So go ahead and hit export. And let's just call this gear one. So that's the first part of our animated GIF file. Now we need to do the second part. So what we want to do is rotate this entire image. So in Pix, you're just going to go ahead and shift click all of the different shapes to select them all. Okay. Then once they're selected, you go up here to this menu and click rotate and that's just going to rotate them slightly and that's enough. Okay. So now I'm going to export this one and I'm going to name it gear two. Okay, so we now have two gear images that we can combine into an animated GIF and they're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. And that's all we really need. So I like to use this tool over here at easygif.com. There are tons of them online. So if you have a different one, that's fine too. And I'm going to go ahead and choose GIF maker or GIF maker. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the files, gear one and gear two and then upload and make a GIF. So here they are. I don't know if they're going to be different enough. Let's just see. We want to choose don't stack the frames because you'll notice that this one underneath stays static there. So we don't want them stacked and let's try again. So there it is. It's not perfect. I'd probably spend a little more time getting it angled just right. But I think that gives you an idea of how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. So you just click save and it's in there. So now we go back into doodly and we're going to bring it in. You just go to props, blue and white plus sign, and then you browse for your files. This is going to be my downloads. So there it is. And I'm just going to name it here. And just place it right in here where we'd like. And let's get rid of this one. Let's add some time at the end of this scene so it has plenty of time for the gear to do its thing. And let's just preview this scene.
And there you have it. That's how you can make a gear spin in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.